what is going on YouTube I'm finally back with another video today we're gonna be back to the Corvette so before I hop into the video if you're new to my channel this is Chances Garage uh, go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already thank everyone for 1k again this is my C5 Corvette and I've now had it for a week and in that week I have already done a mod that I did not record so let's talk about that I hope the wind noise isn't terrible but we installed a Corsa Extreme cat back or it's just the axle back actually so uh, I'll go ahead and let y'all well in a second I'll let y'all hear how that sounds but I just want to say that I just did an axle back uh, still has the stock H pipe all the way up through the stock exhaust all of that so Put the course extreme on, it sounds good. So uh, let me back the car up and then I'll give y'all a start and a few revs. So as you can see, that is pretty loud for a axle back exhaust. This, it surprised me how well this thing sounds for this being axle back. You know, it still has the rest of the exhaust. But I can't hear it enough, you know. Y'all know how I like my cars, I like them to be loud and I like them to sound good. So on that note, I have, uh, First thing I did when I bought this car, not even a day, you know, not even a full 24 hours after I took ownership of this vehicle, was I bought the speed engineering long tube headers and the X-Pipe. Uh, with, with no hesitation because I had those on a Camaro. I love them. They fit. Zero problems out of them. And they cost literally a tenth of the price of what's supposed to be the best headers for most cars, or most LS platforms, so. You know, let me go ahead and open these boxes and we'll take a look at the headers. All right, so as you can see, we have everything out now. Um, and we went ahead and got the headers, the, I uh, went ahead and got the GM multi-layer gaskets. Do not buy the paper ones, they leak. Uh, the ones that come with them leak, they throw them in anyway. Just take those and throw them in your nearest trash can, they're useless. So, now that we have all of this, uh, let me open up the X-Pipe and then we'll look, at all, we'll look at all of this together. All right, I'm back and I took the mic off so I know the audio quality might have changed again, but here is the X-Pipe that they give you and this thing looks amazing. So, even the welds on here are good. And here's the header, one of the headers. I mean, you can just see like, everything looks pretty freaking good. So, um, I'm happy. You know, it's speed engineering. One thing, um, one thing that is always gonna happen with their shipping, I don't know who they use, the boxes are gonna come beat up every time. So expect that, but just know everything inside should be good. I have ordered from Speed Engineering twice now. Both boxes look like someone put them in a shredder for a quick second and took them out. But everything is good nonetheless. So one thing I want to talk about, one more thing I want to talk about before I jump into the install is they give you all the exhaust clamps you need. And what I'm going to tell you to do with these is the same as the, the gaskets that they provide. Just throw them away. These things don't do anything but leak. Um, um, I ran these gaskets on the first set of speed engineering headers I had. They literally popped off. And I had exhaust, I had open headers because of that. 
Um, everybody talks about the, the exhaust clamps leaking. It's nothing new, it's just designed the greatest. Which, if that's the only flaw I have to deal with for headers and an X-pipe for under $600, then I'll take that. Um, you can't have it all. And I'd much rather have to just buy some exhaust clamps than deal with fitment issues on my headers or anything like that. So I know I've been talking a lot. So we're going to go ahead and go to Summit. And we'll just get straight to the install. So let's do it. All right, guys. So I'm back. And I did end up halfway wrapping the headers. But I'm going to take it off. I don't feel like going through this again. So I think we're going to run the headers unwrapped. I know people are not going to agree with that. But it is what it is. Um... But it's much later in the day, it's raining now. But but yeah, so we got the H pipe exhaust off. And I'm not gonna get rid of all of it. We'll explain that later. But as you can see, there's two sets of cats up here. And then uh, the actual pipes themselves are connected. So what I've done so far is I disconnected the O2 sensors. I sprayed down the um, the header bolts with WD-40. This was like at least five, six hours ago at this point. And I removed the alternator as well as loosened the tensioner and removed the belt. So that's what I've gotten so far. Um, next, I need to take the coil packs off each side. And after that, then a few more ground straps to remove and then we should be able to just throw the new headers on. All right, guys, so just want to show you all the progress we've made. We've gotten the manifold bolt, all of, or we've gotten all the manifold bolts off, and we have the header loose. Now, something you'll probably want to do that I haven't done yet is pull these plug wires completely out and uh, take the spark plugs out just so you don't break any. Um, I may or may not, depending on how difficult it is. I'm going to jump to the next clip, which would be either the header in or me working on the other side. So let's jump right to that. All right, guys. So I'm back. It's the next day. Um, but we have the driver's side header completely on, completely bolted down. And we have everything back together. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, so as you can see, we got it all together and and I do have one clip down there I gotta cut. So that's it, everything is on though, connected back, ready to go. Um, I have to install the alternator back, but obviously I'm not gonna do that until we're done. So um, once I get the passenger header on, I'll show y'all underneath the car. All right, let me go ahead and knock this side out and I'll update y'all once the header is on. All right guys, so we got the other side back together we have all the plug wires in we got everything connected we got the belt tensioner back on all right belt back on the alternator so we are ready to do our first fire with open headers so this should be interesting um never heard of five seven in person with open headers it's late at night um i'm at the shop by myself so let me throw the mic on and we are going to fire this thing right now.
All right, guys. So as you can see, it's smoking a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure that that is not anything like wires burning, which it could be, but I don't smell anything burning. It just seems like it's the oil burning off the headers. But goodness gracious, is that loud, man. Uh, that is absolutely insane. So, yeah, that sounded pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if I didn't care about life and my ears, then I would definitely run open headers. Not saying that's not a possibility on any of my cars, but that is insanely loud. Um, so I'm going to see if I can throw the rest of this exhaust on. Hopefully it didn't get too hot because I got a little bit carried away revving. I'm not going to lie. But um, let's see how far we can get. And if not, I will see y'all in the next day on this video. All right, guys. So I just pulled out this Hercules, which is pretty much a Harbor Freight brand saw. And I cut two pieces off uh, the two ends that go back to the stock exhaust. I'd use the speed engineer next pipe, so let me show y'all what we got under here. Pretty much what we have is the setup. Um, you see they had a little side pipes and an X pipe is hanging down right now. I need to support it. But I cut these two stock pieces right here and they fit. So you wanna do this because the X pipe doesn't go all the way out. And this will save you money. So if you have an angle grinder or a chop saw, just cut right where the ends are. And keep your stock exhaust piece right there and it'll hook right back up to your exhaust system. So this is going to my course extreme. And we are about to have this going. So y'all give me a second and we'll be ready. All right, guys, I am back and it is been a few days since the last time I touched this car so uh, we pretty much have everything done uh, the mufflers are way off but I'll fix that later I just wanted to get everything bolted up correctly now we're gonna go ahead and start the car again so you guys will hear for the first time so let me sit this camera down hook this mic up and let's listen to this car scene can see that sounds amazing um, but I do have two exhaust leaks still uh, I just went in there and fixed it uh, two of them during the last clip but still got two more uh, let me go ahead and give you all some revs get somebody called on me that's loud extremely loud but it was worth it uh, so this car 
probably need some more exhaust clamps because it is leaking. Um, but I may drive it around for now just to see how it does. So I'm ending right here. Next video you see, I'll have all my exhaust clamp issues fixed. Uh, I got to figure out what exact ones I need or the sizing. I got to get that right because I bought the wrong ones. But that's going to do it for this one. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, of course, Extreme was the right decision. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. So if you like the Corvette build so far, it's just the beginning. We already have full exhaust, long tube headers, all that good stuff. Um, so it's coming along great. Got the tire right here. It's going great too. But I'm going to get this off the jacks. Take it home tonight. See how it does. And that's going to be that. So hope y'all enjoyed this one again. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Thank y'all for 1K. We're going crazy this year. So as always, y'all take it easy. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.